This is practice paper two, number three. Some problems that we're really good at that maybe we haven't done this for a while. Uh, there's a cumulative frequency graph. Um, there's 120 vehicles and their speed limit is here and then the, the cumulative frequency goes across. Okay, so let's go through here. Answer the questions. I'm going to draw them fast. You will use a straight edge when you do this. Estimate the minimum possible speed passing through the hospital gate. So it looks like right here, it's about 10 kilometers per hour. 75th percentile. Okay, any percentiles have to come from this y-axis. So I'm going to take 75% of 120, which is 90. I'm going to draw a line over from 90 and down. Make sure you note the scale. So this is 45. That looks like about 42. There'll probably be a plus or minus there. Calculate the interquartile range. So I have the upper quartile as 42. I just found it. The lower quartile is 25%. So 25% of 120 is 30. Over and down again using a straight edge. So from 34 to 42, that's the interquartile range of 8. This problem continues. And we have a table of values. The speed limit as past the hospital is 50. Find the number of vehicles that exceed the speed limit. So there's a hundred, we know there's 120 vehicles from the other page. And it says we gotta find P and we gotta find Q. Estimate the number that exceed the speed limit. I can go back to my graph and I know the speed limit is 50. So if I go up to 50 and over, that means 110 went 50 or less. So there are 10 vehicles that exceeded the speed limit. So that's still with my graph. That allows me to find out what Q is right now. So 10s were there, and then they all have to add up to 120. So 36, 100, 116. That means P is 4. And if you want, you could estimate from your graph between 10 and 20. 10 is here. 20 is here. Yeah, if I had drawn straight lines, it looks like about 4. Okay. Write down the modal class. Modal means I'm finding the mode. That would be 30 to 40. Write down the mid interval value. What's the midpoint? 35. Use your GDC to calculate an estimate. Okay, this is the main part I wanted to get to. To estimate a mean from a table here, you use all of the midpoints, and we assume that the values in the interval are the midpoints because we don't know the individual values. And so we're going to do a frequency table. I'm going to go to stat, edit, and I want to, I want to enter my midpoint. So 5, 15, 25 as my values. Okay, so I have my values and then I put my frequencies here. 0, 4, 16, 64, 26, and 10. And I'm going to do one variable stats. So stat, calculate, one variable stats. My list is L1. My cumulative, or my frequency list is L2. And so I get a mean of 36.8. Standard deviation, I got it, 8.85. It's proposed that the speed limit at the hospital is reduced to 40 from the current 50. Find the percentage of vehicles passing the hospital gate that do not exceed the speed limit currently, but would exceed this new speed limit. Okay, so currently there are 10, but if, if we raise the speed or lower the speed limit, now there would be 36. So I want to know the number 
of additional, there's 26 additional that would be included in that. So 26 out of 120, change it to a percent, 21.7%. Okay, so we're going to go look at the mark scheme. Ten thirty six. So pretty much we're good to go there. Notice the working that you need to show. When they tell you to use your calculator, it's G2 and G1. You don't have to show anything else. My interquartile range was eight, I believe, when I did it. And so it says plus or minus one. So anywhere from eight to 10, they would accept. Um, I had 42, there's 41.5. If you're using a straight edge and a full-size graph, that'll come out. Um, and then 4 and 10 we did just kind of using some arithmetic and subtracting. So uh, I think this is one that you are good at, maybe forgot some things. The main thing I want to know is how do you estimate a mean when you don't know those values?